All right. We are back into whatever the fuck just happened to us. I think I died. Um, I don't know what the hell. Oh, that's my main menu. I, I think I died. Yeah. There is nothing. <laughs> Again. Nothing sad, brother. No treachery. Just blackout. I guess I'm lying there passed well, out. almost nothing. There is the ground below you. That's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Who's that? That's me. Blue eyes. That's me. Nice and quiet. And who was that? Who was what? He speaks of the sickening longing. The unwell emotion. Even in the darkness, he's grasping for it. Still trying to hold on to the great sorrows slipping in the water. Slimy. No, I was cool. Uh, yeah, that's the stuff. Here in the paleomammalian cortex, we call it the shadow. Sure, sure. Because it's always there. Tell him. Tell him. Ah, yes. In the old factory system, they call it the apricot chewing gum scented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so. But as they say, what do you do? Smelled so nice. It smelled like betrayal. It smelled so nice. It didn't smell nice. What? It smelled like betrayal. Oh. An X. That's right. I remember from the beginning. Oh, I can see my shadow over here. What do you do? Uh, there's a thing about a bow collector, too. Where is a... Let's do the X. Bloated corpse of the past resurfacing. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape. Its lack of beauty was not the problem. Where's Voyager? There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on. Pause. There's something about boat collecting. Yeah, man. What was that about? Oh, okay. You think they would let you? Until you disintegrate into biomolecules. No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. What is that? It's cold. Yes, they're pouring something on you. It's in you. And it's... It's delicious. Ooh. Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. I'm in the car. The upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage, seated in the driver's basket. The air is thick with leatherworks and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Okay. Drink. Water. I'm gonna drink. The water is cold, He's being nice silvery. The stuff of life itself, as it pours down your parched throat. The pounding in your head recedes. The darkness parts. Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. Mm -hmm. We can survive on alcohol alone. With greedy gulps, you down half a liter of cold water. Some of it spills on the driver's seat. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. <laughs> He's such a nice man. What happened? I came in contact with the burnt-out ruins of my past lieutenant. I was dehydrated, it won't happen again. I fuck it, starts climbing out. I should ask you the same. I'll be honest with him. That does sometimes happen. Hands you the remains of your lunch. He replies with such understanding, it's as if the burnt-out ruins of the past were an occupational hazard. Athlete's foot for cops. You dropped these. Are you okay to proceed? Solve this case. Good. I. I'm trying. Let's. You know what? Let's talk to Kim. He's. Yes. 
I, I think I can trust him. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it, believing it even. I really don't remember anything there was drinking. Have involved. you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There is a sudden, harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. What's wrong with personal affairs, but I'm completely lacking basic information. Can you organization right now? You help me, I'm afraid this is a medical condition. So what should I concentrate Try on? Try work. The case at hand. Okay. It can work miracles. But I'm completely lacking in... Let's Fine. Just... We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Okay. I'm afraid this is a medical condition. Really? You look fine to me. Serious, unbelievable day. I saw myself in the mirror and had no idea who I was. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire I'm gonna trust life. him. Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazareth. Was there anything else you wanted? I'll talk about you. Me? Yeah. I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Yeah. Mm, that's a fair point. Aha, got him. All right. For the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Um, wearing glasses. That's correct. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this, but you can't quite muster enough testosterone. <laughs> I don't want to put him down. I wear glasses in real life. Um, no, I don't. That's so cool, Are I they? guess. They're mostly just cumbersome. You don't look like the people around here. I feel like this is not the best thing to say, but... That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul. So was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. But it's Korean. It's not an interesting topic. It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seoul? is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. Ooh. Well, I guess it's not interesting. You sound, you're making it sound only sound interesting. I still want to know You're barking at the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Revachelier. I love how he speaks. I don't know how he said that word. A point of pride to him. Yeah, tell me about yourself. No. Oh no. It's... As again. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzed. <laughs> it's like you're locked down. What's happening the matter, me? detective? What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. It's because he's a badass cop. What the just lieutenant happened? relaxes. The music got so loud. And you seem to regain control of yourself. What just happens? Why is it so loud? What do you mean? Uh, you know, when you're thinking, do you ever have a conversation with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. Where is that? I'm trying to figure out where the... Oh, let's, let's adjust this a little bit. Let's see if... Ha! I fixed it. Okay. I don't know what happened. It must that must have been a bug. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rudimentary. Okay. So how do you, you know, tap the side of your head? So you're saying your brain never just chimes in with advice or warnings or anything? I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. We all have our different mediums. Okay. His is written. Good. Let's change the subject. I like him. I just want to know more. Oh, I can zoom out so far. Okay. 
Let's um, get our bearings straight for this episode. Let's see what we have. Oh, we got this. This is our ledger. The ledger of failure and hatred. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, empathy and minus two authority. Uh, my authority already sucks, so I guess it's... I guess that's all right. Where would this go? In my hand? It here for now. Uh, okay, journal. So, God inspect the body. I think that's definitely number one on our list. <clears throat> I don't want to report my missing badge number just yet because I haven't heard it from anyone in the comments. In karaoke, pay for damages. I need a hundred fucking money. R Real? Find out who's in the union box. Sorry, so some unruly men gather. They're not here today, but most likely will be here tomorrow, if I remember correctly. End of the day debrief. This has a... This little symbol means that um, it's timed. It is an event that will end, and if you miss it, you miss it. All in order to sort out your health issues, you can use this motor carriage make call, although you don't feel hopeful. Read the watermarks. Oh, that's right! Need to turn the lights on. Inside, you see a set of steering levers. So the watermarks on my uh... pull-out toolbox and the. All right, ready? I turn. You press start. It's next to the preheater. The dashboard lights up with orange glow. The rounds per minute gauge jumps, and the engine of the Caprice Kinema comes to life with a whiny growl, like a leopard waking from its sleep. Yawning and roaring at the same time. The lights unfold with a little click, casting electrical light onto the ground before the vehicle. There you go. Okay. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need to stand in front of the machine now. So I'm going to read the watermarks from my notebook that I had, because he said that the lights from this will... Uh, As you hold your ledger's clip under show the more information. an iridescent hologram appears. A street grid and the veins of a great river. A familiar sensation washes over you. There she is. Revachol West. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no, hundreds of micro perforations. The shimmering street grid. The rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of the RCM, and yet the major arteries of Revachol are all recognizable. They shimmer. In the Kanema's headlights. Look around you. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stopped lorries. In the distance, a child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than the child's cry. Ah, Martinez. Where are we on this map? Let me see. Right here. He says his finger near the top of the map on a segment of the coast judging out of the great ocean. Seems nice. No, it does not. <laughs> okay. There are many of them, and they are divided into three separate rows. I have three rows. The first row has 18 dots. Not bad? Not bad for what? You don't even know what it means yet. <laughs> Immediately called me out. The next is the longest. It runs all the way around the border, and then some. And then individually. You count. 216 perforations. Considering that nice, large number, a wave of pride washes over you. Oh, I didn't Though you too can't much say time. why, precisely. I think I lost like 30 minutes, roughly. And I got knocked out. The last row has three perforations. That's it. What all these holes mean? Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. They are your statistics, as it were. I should have guessed you'd keep a record. Officers often do. Let's take a look. Alpha male officers who are proud of their numbers often do. It's meant. The first row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? Uh, I've been doing this for 18 That's years? What it says. I might have guessed even longer based on your age. What did you do all those blissful years of your youth? I walked the land of telling whores and liars of the end to come. 
There are 9,855 days remaining. Probably some boring office job work, same as everyone else. I just feel like I went around apologizing all the time. Do you really think I have an idea? Um, got drunk like a megastar. <sighs> Man, like knowing him, it's probably this. Um, that's probably some boring office job. No shame in working a regular job, detective. Sometimes after a long day of doing this, I even envy it. Let's move on, Chef. This next row, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed cases. Closed is good. Oh, this it means one with a huge number. You've got, like, wow, more than 200. 216 to be exact. I don't want to be snooty about it. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. So you're saying that I used to be a super cop? <laughs> uh, I used to be good. That's some solace, I guess. What's the last number? I don't even... I don't think I can even ever re-become this person. What's the last number? I'm a super Call cop. Call it what you want. You were a valuable member of your precinct. Now, let's look at the last row. Right. Those are your confirmed kills. Three You've kills. got precisely three perforations there. Oof. For an RCM officer, especially Precinct 41, which is in the Jamra Quarter, it's rather tame. I mean that in a good way. Okay. There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. It's obvious the lieutenant doesn't think very highly of these officers. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. So we have that to be thankful for. Yeah. Hopefully that means um, I'll be better in Tim's sort of opinion about me. Have you ever killed anyone, Kim? How do you handle the strain? This is a very personal question, but it might find some common ground with him. Yes. Ooh, okay. How do you handle this? Everyone story? has their own method of coping. Some more effective or self-destructive than others. Gives you a meaningful look. <laughs> Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Like what? Oh, this and that. Let's not get into it now. Maybe I should find Why a Why not gardening? You've already got the gloves. <laughs> That's right, my yellow gloves. Thanks. The lieutenant nods. Okay. Right. Oh, ledger. I'll go turn off the lights. Okay. What's this? Guillaume Lemini. Oh. I forgot about this. Bad news. Guillaume Lemillion did not become a cop. In 38, he went on a tour to the Xinyao province in Safray, where he died of autoerotic asphyxiation. Oh. His body God. was found hanging from a decorative dragon tree in his junior suite amid drug paraphernalia, unwholesome objects, and the Sylvia Trainer single, Wonderland, skipping in the background. And yes, you can take this as a metaphor for Revachol in the 30s, and also as a warning. Uh, all right, what bonuses do I get off that? Plus one very pain threshold. Awesome. All Seki learning caps are raised by one. Awesome. That was actually really good. Uh, this one gives me encyclopedia knowledge by doing that. Ray research bonus of minus one authority, hell on earth. Minus one hand eye coordination, hell on earth. This is from. This and the bow collector are from um, my memory about my ex wife. So. Uh, I think this is the. Hopefully, to find a way home. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do the home one first. Because it gives me a positive bonus. Okay. Um, ask Gartier. Ask Kuno if he knows anything about the victims. Close this, Gartier. Okay. I don't know. Okay, I want to explore over here first. Let's see if there's anything that I can figure out. I know that there is a store over here uh, that I can... I think this is where I sell stuff? Jump jams. Hello, sir. Welcome to Ivashol. 
uh, announced to the Rotund Man. The remark isn't addressed to you. It's addressed to the Lieutenant. Why are you addressing my partner like that? Hey, I know, Revachal. That's where we are. Never mind. Let's keep moving. Yeah, why are you addressing Don't me? Don't you welcome to Revachal me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000-year-old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Yeah, you fucking tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. What he means is, fixation on the Revacholian nation makes it harder for Revachol to actually attain self-determination. He's right. You're undermining our best shot at self-determination. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Yeah, tell him, Kim. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Uh, fuck it, Kim. I've got your back. You do make a cute couple. You know that. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calm. Whatever you say, officers. He waits impassively, the cigarette smoldering between his fingers. He smells of heavy motor oils, and his breath of high tar content cigarettes, probably Astra Whites. Oh, the racist mug. <laughs> oh man, oh man, that's great. Look at that guy go. Is it yours? God damn. <laughs> Thanks for that, but no, it's not mine. What a racist piece of shit. He doesn't live in Martinez. What was that argument all about? Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural oh, law, so the sorting of the races. Just a horrible piece of shit. Not the most popular topic nowadays with a coalition in Oh, so you're just racist. Makes I'm sense. I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved, even if uh, some people don't want to accept it. I fucking hate that. People who've studied these things say that you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. Yes, I can really tell you're a prime example of the superior design. Right, I've already made up my mind. Want to hear it? Oh? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I can... No! Yeah, I'm not down with this. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Yeah, that's the right one. Don't push your luck, runt. Yeah, fuck off. I don't give a shit about you. A racist piece of shit. Fritte! See it! Okay, so... This is a little shop over here. Um, I remember it... It sold stuff. I can't remember what stuff, though. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. The packages are small, discreet, sloppily stacked, Oof. making them easier to take unnoticed. No need to worry about knocking over a display. What's the raincoat? What is what? Um... It's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only for Real. Okay. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. I didn't want to anyway. It's plus one endurance. It's, I think it's better than what I have. I, but I need money right now. I can always come back and buy this later. All right. What else is around here? What is that? A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles. The bottles wink at you in the light. The smokes, too, glitter in their wrapping. It's like looking into a kind of heaven. Your knees are weak. No. There, in that dark no. green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol, beer, 
Alcohol. I need a fix. Love. Alcohol. His drinking problem? Um, not a good place. Guess not, no. I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. But I guess you already know that. <laughs> Thanks. Please tell me more about these products. Do you sell any under-the-counter vices? Oof. Uh, my god, that's so expensive. Oh, glory. Let's leave that. What's over here? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine okay. bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Their logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Yeah, no magnesium heals me. I don't have it, so I might buy some. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Nosafed is a nasal spray. Duramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is... I guess magnesium isn't, because we, we picked up magnesium and that didn't give me a health thingy. I don't really know what Hypnogamma is. I guess it makes you feel less shit. It's recommended to use after lots of partying, studying, or exercising. Uh-huh. St. Batiste. You know, the pharmaceuticals company. St. Batiste Pharmaceuticals. The one that sells meds out of St. Batiste. She is right. St. Batiste, the company, derives its name from St. Batiste, the city. Itself so named because that's what it is. A rare case where that really is the full etymological history, as far as almost anyone knows, at least. Be health. Museum. Um, I need the nose of Fed, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here. That's what it is. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. And uh, what's this? The tear machine stands uh, in the corner. Okay, this. A sign says, one bottle equals 10 cents. Hmm? Oh, that's the tear machine. It's a machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, See, and, and put it in the tear. machine, then it gives you money. You need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but we gave them all out, so... Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. Okay. I'm sure there are some out there. Somewhere. Alright, well, I got some healing. I guess that's good enough. Um, we can go back to... Probably the body, right? I don't want to go over here yet. That looks like a whole fucking mess I don't want to get involved with. I got... Ooh, hello. What is this? I have more magnesium. Uh, sign me up. Oh, that's right. It's morale. I'm stupid. Close for winter, please use the main entrance. Where are you? Bash can? Gosh, I really want to find that bag. This Postla Vantorie mail collection box has been heavily vandalized with graffito. A closer inspection reveals two bullet holes in the front. Okay. A faint sticker on the side reads. RCM Emergencies Desk Number 8102 with a slogan Mankind Be Vigilant a Good little delivery box I'll give it a little pat Good boy The box seems happy Oh, <laughs> I love it Eat shit pig Fucked by the coon and oh my Saint God. G with a crown have been scribbled on it Jenny is a whore and best set mailbox also <laughs> I feel you, mailbox collection. Been there, postal eventuate. Mail collection box, been there. Mail collection box, you should make the fuck up. I feel you, the bro. The mail collection box seems cathartic. Thankful, even. So do you. You shudder. Then you swallow. I don't want to kick it. It's a nice boy. Over here. Oh, are these, is this the book place? I think this is the book place. Yeah. I'll um, come back here in a second. Uh, like a second, second, but just a little bit. Oh, I'm back! Can I, sir, can I have the bag? 
Oh, this bag is is my heaven. Because I can now put this here. Nope, put this here. And start collecting trash. Oh, that's so much money! I'm so broke! Okay. Can we get closer and find anything else? Nope. Okay. Alright. I'm the trash man! Pick up the trash. The ad reads, broken window. Tips have windows. This coin-operated oh. viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubble gum, Vandalism. rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Shake my head. Probably some kit. A simple but clever solution to ruin in a coin-operated viewer. It took ingenuity. Look inside. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. Oh you spell God. out the word Onuk written on the other side with N and C scribbled backwards. That's Kuno on the lens. If you're focused Under on the, the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. You know this to be the star of Perikonassis, or the Cairo. The central symbol of the Perikonassian church, a star, a great moral height to be strived towards. Around the large wooden building, you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach, ah. and a small tent set up on the ice. Poor little viewer. The metal feels cold. I know I should be doing my case, but I'm having fun finding trash. <laughs> this coin operated viewer. I'll go is back and do it soon. South. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centims oh, and pull so the much for me. while looking inside. Then use the focus knob to zoom in if necessary. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? What's a tourist attraction? There was here? a revitalization project in 49. A design studio tried restoring Martinez to its pre-war glory. Mm, it I didn't see. stick. They got as far as the street lamps and the statue on that intersection. Then something went sour. I suspect that something was Evard Claire, the union leader. He muscled them out. It's how it usually goes around here. I dig organized crime. It's the best. Do something about it? Say nothing. Let's do we something should about have it. done something about the Union ten years ago. Oh, I see. That ship has sailed. Well, the Union isn't great, apparently. They are organized crime. Let's, uh, oh gosh, let's pay some money. Your money disappears into the coin slot. A the clunk. handle and look inside. The, the curtains on the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry. Different blues and greens. In the middle of the shimmer stands a drab gray shape, like a ghost. Turn the knob to focus my the vision. The lenses shift. Ooh, the ghost sharpens into an islet in the bay. In the ruins, a man-made structure is visible. A half-sunken sea fort. It's concrete almost reconquered by nature. It looks as if it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. There are ruins of some kind of building really? there. I don't have the eyesight to make it out. Alright. Trash. Trash. Trash? Trash. Come here, my baby. No. What's this? Okay. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's a big old fucking thing. For you. This is a wall on the side of an oh, apartment Lord. building. A white check, though. Why am I looking at this wall? You have no clue. <laughs> so many walls all over Martinez, weather worn, cracked, their paint peeling. Leave. Okay, um, ooh, trash. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, fuck me. I'm over here. Ooh, hello. I can't scare them off. Are you trying to sneak up on me? Come to slit my throat in my sleep? Oh my god, I hate them. Apparently, she doesn't like people standing behind her back. Logic error. She is not sleeping right now. 
pigs come to take me out? Trying to snuff me out? Are you sleeping right now? Don't get fucking clever with me, pig. You think you're so clever. Ooh, we'll shut them up. What, I thought? Okay, I need to get back over here. I need to get back to my, my destination. Is this blood? Nope. Ooh, I gotta... Let's, let's focus. Focus, 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 focus. Let's go and get back to... What's this? The job at hand. Apartments in the pier, roundabout north. Okay. Let's go back to the roundabout north. I'll talk to you. Ooh, what's... Ooh, oh, there's something. It was there. Where to go? Man from Heimdall with a wild wildfire. Trash. I'm trash man. I'll deal with that in a, in a moment. Let's see. What is this again? Can I make another test? You see a set of tires. Yeah. Okay. Still locked. Okay. Big trash. There's giant trash over here. Give me trash. The trash containers. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. There's so you much see trash soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Search the food waste. Let's we'll see if there's can... nothing more. Damn, the okay. container sounds. I was hoping I could get like a metric fuck ton of trash for this. Trash. Okay, let's ask Kuno about the thingy, and then. Arte oh, afterwards. Care? Empathy. Oh, I see. Uh, talk to the gardener. She says not to listen to you. Pig, do you have any idea how fucking stupid that sounds? Kuno's cruising his bitch on the town, and the bitch comes back griefing to the Kuno. What is up with that? What are you even talking about? Oh, no. What's happening to me? Get the fuck out of here, fat ass. Those pants are too small for you. I almost died. The pants are totally okay. Don't listen to her. She's trying to give you body image problems. That's not cool, Kunoese. Um, yeah, the kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Point of the yeah, cater. Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit know. is beneath Kuno. It could be a leader that someone may have tampered with the murder Listen, scene. listen. Kuno doesn't care about this small time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there, dumpster diving. Sad shit. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuro's wearing. Your size. 500? 500 real. That's crazy. You'd have to be blind not to notice the giant white letters. F-A-L-N. Running down his trouser leg. Wait, I see what happened to his clothes. He must have seen them lying around. Look, Kuno ain't seen shit lying around. Except for that up there. Oh, back to this now again, huh? performance gear or not, Grandpa? The lieutenant remains silent, but right. his expression couldn't say, I told you so, any louder. No, Kuno, you don't know anything about tampering. I'm investigating a rehab pants. Whatever. Kuno was trying to help you, but you're too fat for falling anyway, pig. There's a mug in the, the trash. The fuck? A mug in the trash? Is this about the fucking clothes again? Taking, actually, this is, makes me uncomfortable. Let's back up. I doubt he has yeah, anything to do with this. Yeah, back out and take your fat ass with you. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Uh, it is white. He's on yeah. your crime scene, bossing you around. I know this bounty. And he's been here for some you, time too. But it's old news. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. Hey, Kuno. He could be useful. I think you can turn the Kuno down for a moment. Let's talk like normal people. Kuno City, Rage Night City. What's going on there? I'm intrigued. No! The city is not fucking lame. You are lame. Kuno's tired of defending Rage City from... Just fuck off, all right? And fuck you too, putting Kuno on the spot like that. Kuno doesn't need to fucking explain his shit. Kuno's king. He rules here. I fucking fuck hate these kids. Explain himself. As if explaining some kind of work. Some kind of avant-garde work way ahead of its time. I'm intrigued. You must get to the bottom of this one of these days. Kuno okay. does. Why time? As dear God. There he still is, oh looking God. right through you with his white eyes. Chance. The body below is it. The smell is repulsive. 
It pushes in. Try to walk away. Oh boy. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh god. <laughs> Too late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes burst it out. By burst. burst by until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. Okay, Keep it. Thank you. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. He's so you nice. Could use some ammonia to clear your head. Oh, okay. Where do I get this? There's the frit nearby. Maybe they have some in the apothecary. Oh, we were just there. If they don't... There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Hmm. Pretty clever. Hmm. Okay. Can we fuck around with this again? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eaten yes. right. Because there's hey. a secret... There it is. You see a shabby little door. It just falls over? That's not what I was expecting. What is this, then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Uh, uh fuck yeah. Someone's hiding some shit. Okay. What's in here? Maybe I'll find some ammonia here. Ooh, money. I found some money. Um, get out of the way or get fucked up. Silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Be still, my beating heart. Oh, no. It's amphetamine. Sweet I gotta amphetamine. fight it off. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. I heard that I just make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? Oh, let's take a narcotics to your press police should Perhaps it. not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However. There's a ladder in the corner? Oh, right there. See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. Okay. A tube of you see if someone you rub on your chest to live happy magnesium rich lives. Your pig's head, it looks mummified. This leads here. What's this? Oh, it's taking me somewhere else. Okay, hold on. Let's go and explore what the hell's around here first. Story is going to collapse soon. Please don't collapse on me. Let me just run and get things. Uh, postcard. Okay. Okay. Let's find some stable. What the fuck is. I don't know where I'm going. Health. I'll take health. There's so many. So much trash. Give me all the. Give me all the trash. Oh, yes. More. More. Kim, you're in the way. You're in the way of my addiction. Give me. Yeah. Okay. Check this Looks out. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. It's a cop's cloak. Yes, it's probably yours. Oh my god, why it was bears he the here? RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. Judge the you could probably make the jump. You look like you've Ooh, done some track really and field well. in your day. The wind is look aggressive around. up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance. That machine is a cavalsund. 1020 HK. Wait, yeah, let's point at that. Is it? Qualzun makes a lot of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. 
He looks at the sad piece of fabric floating in the wind. What exactly are we doing what up here? What are we doing? We are awfully close to breaking into the industrial harbor. They are bound to have information for us. I thought that was our intention. Or it could be that we are just exploring. We're just exploring. I don't want to break in just yet. Do you really think this cloak of mine should I go the for a jump? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it? Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops? I'll be right behind Whenever you. you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. What a good man. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets <sighs> may It's hide. such a low jump, though. You know what? We'll come back to this and see if we can help ourselves a bit. Find some civil fair equipment. Because I don't want to hurt myself right now and, like, break my fucking ankle or something. But I'll risk it soon if I... If I can't find any more leads. I have too many leads right now. I need to knock them off. I need to go find that ammonia from Frite. It's looking like it's, uh, what is it? It's almost two o'clock? It's almost two o'clock. I wonder if there's a way. Can I put this into a different um active mode? Oh, that's nice. Humor mode? Oh, well, that's something I should, probably should have picked ages ago. <laughs> uh, tutorial agent. Detect mode active. Interactable on character in the game. Light border on the pair. Okay. That's just detective mode. What's tutorial agent? They're the same thing! Okay. So we need to go and find Lita or her, right? She said she might have some. Hello again, officer. Can I have some? How are things? Sure. I'm done with it. Oh, fuck yeah. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible... Save some money. Thank you, Kim. What a great idea. All right. Let's go try this out now. There, he still is, looking right through you, with oh his white God. eyes. Even with a the mode, body yeah. below is entirely dedicated to that corpse. Okay. What do I got on me that can help? Um, this handkerchief, ammonia, his pen. There's nothing else that I can. Is there anything bringing down endurance? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh. I think I have a level, right? Did I already put it in? I did. Fuck me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I gotta there, roll. I gotta roll. It's white. Let's do it again. Right through. The ammonia only okay. makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your ducts. You manage to keep it in once. The second time, not so much. When the vomiting is done, Jeez, your cheeks disgusting. are wet with tears. I have made so little progress. I don't think I want to be a cop anymore. Let's just spit and are say you nothing. Okay, officer? Heel pat on the back, heavy rhythmic pats. You're facing tough odds here. It's aggravated further by alcohol Why withdrawal. can't I keep it in if I've been a cop my whole life? This is bullshit. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be a cop. If we do something else, I think I want to s solve something else now. Uh, why can't I keep it in? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday, he's cadaver day. Throw up. Investigate. Throw up. Initial autopsy. Throw up. Baguette. Pats your back again. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. You seem to be fine. I think I've lost my sense of smell. There's a pause. A white lie. Not being hungover helps too. Alright. Um That's probably a good idea. Okay. Clear our head. But before we can Press do that. Hand from your back and let's you need to get your shit together. Okay. 
We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. Okay. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Where's my volumetric shit? Okay, so let's do this for a half hour. And I'm back at it. So what else can I do right now? Can't inspect it. Gotta equip that. Um team karaoke, report missing badge, pissing competition, call your station slides or Whoa, I didn't even check about this. I'm a superstar cop, a sorry cop, and a boring cop. I'm not an apocalypse cop. I'm part communist and part fascist. I'm not an ultra liberal and I'm not a moralist. I've got some good cop, bad cop stuff going on. No honor yet. I've killed three people. I've solved 216 cases and I'm 18 years of service. Okay. Find out who's in the union box. Uh... I don't think I talked to Garte again yet about um, stuff in the uh, about like the, the the clothes. I didn't talk to this person yet either. Oh, this is open. Can I help you? Here's your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. The victim How clothes. How strange! I certainly didn't put them there. Did someone your staff put it there? Who else has the keys to the trash? The computer? trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Okay. Thank you, anyway. Thanks. Let's talk about Yes. Something. Okay. I trust Kim. He knows more than I do. <laughs> uh, this. Ooh. Spices, alcohol, and tomato hang in the air. Six of money. I'm at ten bucks now. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from Laura his mug. Say, Quebec. This must be the Whirling's cook. As you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are... Garanzi and Kubek. Okay. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him Garanzi Quebec. Please, it's not funny. Okay. Hello, sir. Got time for a few the questions. The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. Drawing arcs in the air? I don't know what that means, though. You've got some impressive pots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the else. stove. Stay masculine. All right, door. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. Touch the cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 oh, wow. years since this was painted, while. maybe. It leads to a side building adjacent to this one. The old building next to uh, this, the one half ruined. Of. Whatever is behind it must be older. The door does not budge. I wonder where it leads. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Curiosity. The winch. Outside. Oh. In the backyard. Remember? Like no. Small elevator. Hmm. Well... If there was a winch, I suppose we could look into it as a side investigation. Heck yeah, we can. It's hardly a side investigation. You already have a name for it. Yes, a mini side investigation. No, the door's a mega. I'm calling it behind the blue door. It's hardly worth a title. Anyway, oh, secret Gart passages? is the person to ask about this. Yeah, okay, let's go ask Gart. Gart, you have secret passages. Can I help you? Nothing in Another the thing. Great. Who's still I there? Oh, yes. That door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. You hiding it's something? It's a door. You know what's behind it? No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. 
It's just a frit warehouse, probably. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. I think you'd like to know what's back Fine, there. Fine, okay. A little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So, I haven't opened it. I Fuck have yeah. cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though. After the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Okay. Yes? Goodbye. That's fine. Uh, I level up. I'm gonna beef myself up with some endurance, maybe? Well, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to it in case I fail the next test. That's a smarter idea. Uh, I don't want to talk to you yet. Or should I talk to you? Should I? No. You don't seem pertinent. Although I don't know yet. I'll talk to her if she's still here in the evening. I could go and sell my goodies. I just like somewhere to sit. Like an eggshell. Ooh, what was that? Crash? Means you found it just a pop one anywhere. There's a tree in it. Okay, let's go back and sell some things. Talk to him. Let me get my hands on some more ammonia if I have to. Alright, please make me like a hundred. And for all that recycling, like a hundred. The tear bucks. machine stands in the. Your bottles clunk oh, into the machine, God, and the money appears with a satisfying jingle. you I'm a sure super rich. Welcome to Frit. Feel free okay. to. What's that magazine she's reading? Oh, this is magazine. You mean this? She looks at the cover, boasting a colorful photo of two girls this kissing. This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode. Featured on page 34. Speaks this speaks to you. Very futuristic. Forget about that. What is this fashion police feature? That's really funny. Um, stupid famous people. I'm not interested in the magazine. I don't know why I asked. These two seem like... I like this one. She pops her raspberry flavored bubblegum and nods. Just because this, this place seems like very... Uh close-minded and racist and ignorant her shoulders tense she shuffles back only slightly bewilderment and repulsion root her in place i mean i can understand that even if she's fine with it like the lieutenant like frowns at you before turning to the clerk with an apologetic half smile i'm sorry i was trying to be nice about it itself what is this it's, it's just a store um, okay. I'm not really supposed to. Oh. A warehouse. I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what for. She scrunches up her face into an expression of consummate adolescent skepticism. Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay. Okay. Even more peculiar. She looks up from her magazine. Eyes filled with tired on we yes what we have okay. is there in the medicine cabinet Go take it. Um, i don't really know anything you know, not died. really you know him or a little um no okay i didn't know him at all how long has it been there? i don't know really what do you think happened? um no need oh to worry God. it's just standard procedure for us to ask around if you hear anything let us know okay 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 thanks for your uh -huh. help leave ammonia a small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. This is not they what all bear on the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics. Oh, can I? You see several packaged raincoats filled. Here you go. There you go. My endurance up. Okay, what's in here? Ammonia. A colorful display. Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both Little alcohol and cigarettes. cigarettes damage your health. I need ammonia. 
somewhere else? Maybe it's because I already gained Ammonia that it won't let me buy it? I don't know. Okay. Um, let's put you on. Get my endurance up a bit. And then... Let's check my thoughts. How much? Nine minutes left? It's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Let's go talk to her then. Let's just get a Hello, little bit sir. of time going. Step right in. The store is open. Hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? Uh, what kind of store is this anyway? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. Ooh. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. <laughs> books, postcards, easy. Even a kid would know all of this. I know what a book is called. Books are like very long letters with stories. Uh, yeah, I don't want. Don't be a fool. As an expert, it's no, your duty to tell what don't... you know to everyone. I really made Sir, up my mind. Are you okay? You've been standing here silently for a while now. Hey, okay, some sir. questions. I'll try. My name, name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside minding the register or organizing the stock. Okay. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. You're standing out here in the cold because... I'm signalling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Uh, that's true. Who wouldn't want to miss out on that? Um... I wish I have a word with the store owner. Such a good trooper you are. I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if this is going to be bad, but she seems very nice. Thank you, sir. I'm happy to help oh, mom out with the thank store. God. Okay, shouldn't you be in school or something? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mom keep this place running. Is it going to a school more important than this? School's stupid. What is school anyway? School's mom says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mom says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Yeah. There is stress and unease behind these words. Ah. She's reciting etiquette. Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Cursed, cursed in a way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived ah. here, sir. That they all go... Bankrupt. Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. Uh, this sounds rather serious. You're probably looking at We this. can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more. Yes. Please do also look at our wares inside. Uh, how's the postcards and board games are there, sir. Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Oh, yeah. Crime? Romance? Let's do crime. Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle too. You can guess who the criminal is, or how the good guys are going to catch him. You don't look much like a policeman. Oh my god, okay. Okay, well maybe I'm not. Or should stop being one. Well, there's a couple of guys. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. You know, nobody actually looks like guy in the picture. That's just stupid fantasy of a man. Not like it's it's not your body that's important in police work. Anyway, it's your head. Oh, look at the guy. I'll never be as good as Mom. Yeah, it's your head. Head? Yes. No, you're mine. Not head, child. Heads. Heads. Flexibility. There are millions of different people out there. You have to get into their heads. Someone, sometimes you gotta be the killer to catch the killer. A quick silver mine. This Mullen guy looks like he needs four hours just to come up with a single idea. A little flexibility. Isn't that very dangerous? Policemen live and breathe danger, little girl. Mullen obviously lacks that male analysis. Unlike skill. you, sir. He's just a fictional character. He's no match for you. <laughs> Maybe you can show me some real police work, okay. sir. Like in the books. Yeah, let's do this. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? What do you, what do you mean, sir? You can show them to me. You don't need to be worried. I'm here to help. She looks around anxiously, 
Her hands remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with okay. little interest. She brings out her reddened hands. Her oh nails frayed, God. nearly chewed down to the flesh. And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Yes. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. <laughs> Why, babe? I have a few reasons in mind. She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. You're tight because your mother and the pressure she's putting on her. You're right, it's a bit nibbling. Nope. Putting your nails means you're recycling your body. Nope. It's an intense dedication to the wave. Nope. Maybe so, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. Either way, another ace deduction by the number one detective. It was okay, sir. <laughs> There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do so. the same. Fine, do better. To do something You're about quite me. Sober. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. <laughs> it takes effort. <laughs> I love you, Kim. Uh, I'm also sad and my head hurts. I'm having a grand time. Wait, how do you know I'm usually not? Because you usually aren't. I'm having a grand time. I sure hope you are, sir. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar. Can I... Can I... Somehow. Can I... Okay, so that is gone. Okay, so let's... Oh, I can unlock it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Fuck. Oh, let's do the boat collector. Shit. Shit. Fuck. That's fine. There's something you're missing. Oh, it's so low. You have absolutely Fuck. no idea. Familiar? How? You must have forgotten something you heard. Okay. What's this? Volumetric shit compressor. Bizarre scientific news from Rivershall West today, where a police officer's shit has been observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of... Okay. I was going to listen to all that, but I'm too excited to go and look at the body. Let's go! Where am I on the recording? Caught it an hour and seven minutes in. All right. We'll get this body down finally? And then, uh... There he still is, looking yeah, right Yeah, there we go. Much better. With his white eyes. The Chicken body press. below is in. As you breathe in, the odor comes over you. It's the smell of the mind telling you to run. Oh, and your stomach to ring finally! With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. It's a puzzle. What's hanging in front of you is a puzzle of decaying flesh tattoos and tendons. You always do that? We do after seven days, yes. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants okay. and enamel boots. This His skin is, is where greenish, I marbled with decaying veins end the and recording by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. I'm going to end it here, only because we have finally unlocked the hanged man and got him be able to actually investigate him. That's a great time to end this episode, especially since I'm an hour and ten minutes in. Um, and then I will continue on immediately uh, from this episode into the next one, dealing with the hanged man. So, I will see you guys later in the next episode, where we will finally, finally, finally investigate the hanged man now that i'm not fucking vomiting my ass off uh trying to just even get close to him <laughs> all right well um it's this episode feels like i didn't do much i think but uh i'm just glad that i could finally approach this fucking dude before the day ended all right i'll see you guys later into the next episode uh you guys have fun Bye bye